Hello, everybody. Welcome to Talking Fitchburg on this Friday, February 18th, 2022. Jeremy Crosby here, Andrew Bamlett uh, in a far, 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 far away place he likes to call home. And we're ready to bring you this evening's uh, Talking Fitchburg. And, uh, well, right now it's kind of yucky out there, so be careful if you're traveling. Snow squalls, that's what's moving through the area this evening, might make uh, traffic impacts and more. So uh, just be careful. But warmer temperatures into the weekend and a chance for some snow Monday. We'll see how that pans out and we'll talk about it on Monday's update. But let's talk about what's happening today. We're going to take you out to this morning. Uh, we have a new lieutenant in Fitchburg. We'll introduce you uh, to her and take you out to that ceremony coming up here uh, in our digest. Plus, we'll check in with uh, our HR specialist, the director of Human Resources. Sarah Olson will be here talking about those job openings and uh, joining Team Fitchburg, as I like to call it. We'll have that for you uh, here in just a few minutes, but let's get to your headlines. And we do start with that Fitchburg officer moving to a lieutenant within the department. The Fitchburg Police Department announced the promotion of Officer Lisa Heitman. And this morning, she was sworn in as the new lieutenant. I, Lisa Heitman, who've been appointed to the Office of Police Lieutenant. Who has been appointed to the Office of Police Lieutenant. In the city of Fitchburg. In the city of Fitchburg. Dane County, Wisconsin. Dane County, Wisconsin. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully discharge the duties of said office. And will faithfully discharge the duties of said office. To the best of my ability. To the very best of my abilities. Congratulations. Thank I'm you. Have you step over here and sign your official oath, please? There you have it. We'll uh, bring you that full ceremony uh, coming up in our digest today. But congratulations. And uh, we'll actually talk with her. I had a chance to talk with her afterwards. We'll uh, be talking with her soon here on Talking Fitchburg. But uh, congratulations either way. All right, let's turn our attention to job openings. we got a few of those open here at the city of Fitchburg. We'll share those with you now. Uh, building attendant, uh, new position open up here, a civil, a civil engineer intern, environmental project engineer, fire science intern, the groundskeeper uh, that uh, happens uh, each every year, parks and forestry assistant, police officer recruitment going on, public works uh, in the parks and street maintenance worker position, and shelters at the Fitch Public Library. As mentioned at the top of the show, we will be talking with Sarah Olson uh, coming up later in the show today. And uh, in case you get to see that interview, we'll have it posted up on Facebook so you can learn more about joining Team Fitchburg. On Street Parking Public Survey is now available. We want your input. That's right. The On Street Parking Public Survey is out uh, January 31st. Uh, Fitchburg staff held a public meeting on on street parking issues and potential solutions. Now we'd like to hear from you on uh, the use of uh, street parking and how we can improve that. Please fill out the survey by March 11th of 22. And then we'll uh, get the results out there and uh, maybe further action uh, or meetings to come from that. It is a uh, heart month and we want you to do two things. Well, maybe three things. Take care of that ticker, but also learn CPR and download the Pulse Point app. This February during Heart Health uh, Heart Month, uh, show your support by learning CPR and downloading the Pulse Point app. Pulse Point notifies users uh, when there is a cardiac arrest nearby that is in a public location. Nearly 1,000 deaths a day are caused by sudden cardiac arrest, but early chest compressions can significantly increase a person's chance of survival. Already have the app? Well, make sure the CPR alerts are enabled by going into the notification screen and checking that nearby CPR needed critical alerts on uh, that are, are on the heart month. Uh, this heart month, <laughs> learn CPR, download the app and save a life. Although mass uh, wearing uh, order will end in March, uh, businesses, schools, healthcare uh, agencies, workplaces still may require that uh, for staff or consumers. Yes, uh, we know that this is going to be expiring from uh, Dane County Public Health, but that still doesn't mean that there isn't going to be uh, places that you still might have to wear a mask. So when entering a building, be sure to check for signage to see if the masks are required or not. Masks are still required in public transportation according to the federal policies, and make the most of your masks. Uh, keep that up to date. And uh, a lot of uh, what I've seen nationally uh, from federal government is uh, 
there could always be more mass da- mandates in the future. Uh, so uh, just keep an eye on that. And uh, if things get worse again, uh, we got to be prepared that there could be a chance that, that would happen again. And we'll keep you posted here on that. Uh, but uh, be aware that uh, places still can uh, have mask uh, mandates in place uh, by uh, choice there. So I uh, want to share that information with you. All right. We're going to take a quick break. Coming up next, we're going to take you out to this morning's lieutenant uh, taking uh, oath of office uh, or well, oath of lieutenant, that is. And later in the show, we'll check in with Sarah Olson on uh, jobs and joining Fitchburg, the city of Fitchburg. That's all coming up here on Talking Fitchburg. It takes all of us to slow the spread of the coronavirus. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and stay home unless absolutely necessary. Use a delivery service for essential items like food and medicine. If you must make essential trips, stay six feet apart from other people. Wear a cloth face covering and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds as often as possible. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. Severe weather can strike anytime, anywhere, but there's a simple way to stay safe. Hey, Jim Cantori here. I stay safe in dangerous weather by planning ahead. You can stay safe too with a few easy steps. Build an inexpensive kit with supplies for your family's needs. Write down important information like phone numbers and medications. Always talk with your family and remember any pets in your planning. Be ready, be safe. Start your plan today at ready.gov plan. Hey, boss. You okay? I said I'm fine. Hey, son. Hey, Bob. You know you can talk to me. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. And especially this year, no one has time to get sick. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you too. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg in the Digest. And today we're going to take you out to a ceremony that took place this morning. We already mentioned that Lisa Heitman uh, is moving uh, rank uh, to lieutenant. She's been part of the police department for several years and has a uh, a significant background in uh, public service. And uh, this morning they held that ceremony in the council chambers. And in case you missed it, we have that for you right now. I know that uh, Chad Brecklin can't make it. He's uh, training today, but he does send his congratulations as well. And I just want to welcome all of you and also congratulate Lisa. It's a very deserved promotion. In this role, you meet people throughout the city. You don't get to know them well, but it's very quick where you learn who people are and who's very capable and makes good impressions. And that's something that I've always felt when I've met Lisa. And then you see something like her bio that was released when this was announced, and you go, wow, even more impressive than what I originally thought. So again, very excited to have you in this new role. Congratulations, and very excited for this. Thank you. I am amazed at the response and the attendance today. Uh, Been here since October and come to public events, Mayor Alder, uh, Udell, am I missing any of the other Alders? We got SSAP Jenkins from the FBI that also attended. Am I missing any other PFC members? Any here? Oh, our PFC, uh, uh, Commissioner O'Day, Commissioner Amble. I am excited that you all are here. Seeing... Uh, the level of attendance from the public and and our team, the city of Fitchburg uh, departments, we're all a part of a team. And uh, right now I got uh, goosebumps seeing the amount of attendance that we have here. And why? This is an important day. It's important because we are promoting a member of our team 
to a higher rank to take on additional responsibilities. And those additional responsibilities ultimately are to better our organization, to better our city, and move forward in a positive direction. Whether we like our leadership or we don't, when we move up and we look at a day like today, a promotion, those are things that we will never forget. We have to make them special. If we as leaders don't acknowledge this special day, then how do we expect the commitment out of you? You will never hear me stop underemphasizing the level of importance that every rank you move up is added responsibility. That means it pushes more to selflessness than selfish. That means more time away from home towards the organization and the city. And it takes a leader to take that on. It's easy for us to get comfortable and complacent and say, I'm happy where I'm at. I enjoy my pay. There's nothing wrong with that. And be where I'm at. Or I want to contribute more. Lisa, you're taking on a big challenge. I can't thank you enough for taking this challenge on. There's going to be some high expectations. Right? We had five individuals who went through an extensive, extensive promotional process. And you stood out. And you came out on top. And there's nothing wrong with the others because they all are going to win from this. However, today is your day. And today is the day that you are going to move on for added responsibility to help the City of Fitchburg Police Department move forward in a positive direction. So could you step up, please? Tracy? I'm going to have you raise your right hand and repeat after me. Okay. I, state your name. I, Lisa Heitman. Who have been appointed to the Office of Police Lieutenant. Who has been appointed to the Office of Police Lieutenant. In the City of Fitchburg. In the City of Fitchburg. Dane County, Wisconsin. Dane County, Wisconsin. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully discharge the duties of said office. And will faithfully discharge the duties of said office. To the best of my ability. To the very best of my abilities. Congratulations. Thank you. Have you step over here and sign your official oath, please? is mine. <laughs> wow. Thank you all so much for coming. Uh, I am stunned and, and thrilled um, at the attendance today. I see so many familiar and just smiling faces and it's just, I, I'm touched, so thank you. Um, thank you to my parents who made the trip up, um, to my dad. Uh, he's the one who uh, taught me uh, work ethic and my desire to serve others. My dad has served his whole family and his community of Darlington. Um, for as long as I've been here. So, Dad, thank you. To my mom, who taught me determination and to never give up and to be better and do more and just strive to do more and more and more. So, thank you. To my sister, my biggest support system. Um, as everybody in law enforcement knows, we can't do this job without a support system, and uh, I, I need you, so thank you. To my kids, I mean, if you have kids, you know they're the real bosses of us, right? So, um, you know, they know that this is a big responsibility, added time away from home, and, uh, and they're on board. And then, of course, to my husband, um, my, my biggest supporter of all. You are all my family. I see former coworkers. I see current coworkers. Um, you're all my family. I care about all of you so much. I care about this city. Uh, my boys go to school here. Um, I, I'm so just ready for this opportunity. Uh, I said it to the union membership in my email. Um, I'm honored and I'm humbled that I was uh, given this opportunity and uh, I will work hard uh, tirelessly day after day uh, for, 
for the officers of Fitchburg and for the city of Fitchburg. So thank you all very, very much for coming today. Um, I just can't say enough just how, how thrilled I am to see everybody here. And I'll be around, and I would love to talk to everybody um, uh, if you can stick around for a little bit longer. So thank you all very, very much. Normally tradition is now I disappear. All of you, if you want to take pictures and congratulate, we can form a line on, on our right, your left, and uh, we can congratulate. Pictures will all be taken. And again, congratulations. Lisa, thank you all very much for coming for this special day. God bless you. All right, congratulations to Lisa, and uh, glad her family was on site uh, for this great meeting. It was a great turnout this morning and a fun event at that. And we'll look forward to having Lisa here on Talking Fitchburg in uh, the near future to learn more about her and uh, what she'll be doing as lieutenant. Uh, and, uh, well, we just are very happy for her. We'll take a quick break. Coming up next, we're going to be talking about joining Team Fitchburg. Are you interested in working for the city of Fitchburg? We'll break it down for you next, right here on Talking Fitchburg. You could be spreading the coronavirus without realizing you have it. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and do your part. It's important to limit in-person interaction with anyone outside of your immediate household. But phone and video chat are safe ways to connect. It's also important to limit any social gathering. This advice applies to people of any age, including teens and younger adults. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. Our hearts are made stronger by how we treat others. Put her there. The light you share can impact those around you, but so can the darkness. Later, twerps. Did Pete saying mean things bother you? So when you reach out to another person, <laughs> take a moment to consider how they will feel and let your heart be the key to making a difference. Because of you, someone's entire day, year, or even life can change. In every heart, there's hope. Brandon met a girl on a dating app. He finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being... Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. She must be a keeper. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. We don't have time for delays. Ready! We don't have time for spells. Next. We don't have time for setbacks. Let's be real. Getting the flu shot helps you fight the flu. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you too. Well, welcome back into Talking Pittsburgh. Joining me today, and it's been a while, but she's been really busy, so uh, it's okay. It's Sarah Olson, our HR director. Uh, Sarah, welcome to the show. First and foremost, love the roses in the background. Must have been Valentine's Day or something real recent. Thank you. Tell me that your husband got those for you. Actually, I think they were from Fact TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, don't want to brag, <laughs> but no, I, I like them. It gives some color to the office. You got some cool pictures in there anyways. But uh, hey, welcome back to the show. I'm um, so glad to talk to you. We got a lot of uh, job openings to talk about. We've had some yeah. uh, actually quite a few in the last couple of weeks. You've coming off some big recruitments. Last time we had you on here, I think we were talking uh, big recruitments here. So um, I thought we got to get Sarah back on the show, get everybody up today where, where you stand. So uh, I think the first question is just overall, what would you say the status is of the city uh, as far as hirings go? We got some openings. Now is the time. If you want to join the city of Fitchburg, this is it. Um, if you look at our openings, we have a ton in the summer um, realm. So like if you're looking for summer employment, um, hourly positions, uh, this is our time. We're looking for engineering interns. Um, we just closed a few of our permanent full-time openings. We had a GIS specialist. Um, we had an administrative clerk. Uh, but we have some other positions coming down the pipeline that we'll be posting. Um, and we're hiring for police officers. So we are still, that is, we're currently accepting applications and that's through this Sunday. And we might be looking at um, extending that timeline a little bit to give some more time for people to get their applications in. 
Absolutely. And actually this time of year, sir, uh, in general, uh, in the next couple of months, we do spend a lot, and I say we, you <laughs> and other departments spend a lot of time uh, working on the summer recruitment. Uh, uh, it's a great time to, uh, to kind of test the waters in some ways, see what the Fitchburg is all about with those summertime positions. Yeah, and we're actually looking at potentially getting a sign-on bonus attached to these summer positions. So um, we're taking that to the personnel committee in March, but we are hoping to have a $500 sign-on bonus for all of our summer seasonal positions. Uh, so you'll see those posted. We have like tennis instructor, program coordinator, program assistant. Those are in our recreation department. Um, all of those would be ones that would be eligible for the $500 sign-on bonus, um, as well as uh, public works maintenance workers in the summertime and a groundskeeper too. So again, we're, we're trying to look at, um, you know, providing more incentives for people to apply. Um, it, it gives you great exposure to the city, but also, you know, helping get some more money in your pocket. Everybody likes a little cash in their pocket these days, for sure. Uh, Process-wise, uh, as far as uh, you set up quite a while ago, sorry, my phone's going off there. Uh, you set up quite a while ago uh, a nice way to sign in and deal with, um, or not deal with, uh, go through the application process. It makes it a little bit easier because once you fill it out, you're in. Yeah. It's a one-time deal. So you put all your information in um, and then it's just a matter of a few clicks every single time you want to apply for another position with the city. And that actually, the software we use is often used at a number of government public sector um, entities. So um, it's just a matter of uh, going in there and um, you know updating anything that needs to be updating and updated and then just submitting that application. Um, Sarah, what do you tell new uh, folks when you're, they're coming in for interviews, when you're describing the atmosphere of Fitchburg, putting you a little bit on the spot here? I certainly yeah. can describe it uh, as well, but uh, from your standpoint, what do you share with uh, those potential applicants? Yeah, so we have, we've actually had that question a little bit um, in interviews today for um, the Ministry of Clerk, kind of curious, what is the atmosphere like here? Um, it's very positive. Uh, it kind of feels like a small family here. Everybody kind of celebrates um, accomplishments, birthdays. Uh, we go out for happy hours. It's been a little quiet uh, due to COVID, but, you know, we're looking forward to kind of picking that stuff back up again because we miss each other. Um, you know, it's we we do invest a lot in our employees as far as training and development and making sure that you're getting that opportunity to either attend a leadership um, classes or um, learn more, you know, on the job. Um, and, you know, it, it's just there's promotional opportunities in other departments as well. Um, it's just it's a great place to be a great place to get exposed to public sector um, experience and, and to grow your career. Sarah, I'm sure you're into, I'm sure there's an HR digest and, and so many different uh, things going on out there, but uh, has COVID uh, set things back as far as recruiting retention or, you know, we're seeing more people change jobs, do, do different things. Um, from your perspective, uh, how is that affecting the, the job market? Um, and, and is there positive things out of that too? Yeah, yeah, I know, very. Um, we're seeing a decrease in applications for sure, but um, something that we can offer here at Fitchburg is if your position allows for it, you can actually telework from home up to three days per week. So that is huge. Um, again, that's if your position um, allows. So, you know, if someone is a firefighter, they're not gonna be able to work from home. But um, if you're in a, um, for example, an administrative role where you can take some of your work home with you, um, we will actually supply all of the equipment that you need and you can work from home up to three days per week. So that's been a really great change uh, with COVID because we never allowed teleworking uh, prior uh, to COVID. So that, that's a huge plus. But yeah, I mean, we are, we are seeing a decrease in the number of applications um, across all of our positions right now. And um, we still offer uh, the amazing benefits, Wisconsin retirement, amazing health insurance, dental, vision, life, you know, all of those things uh, that, that people are looking for. I think one of the unique things about city government and the positions there is there's so it's so um, unique and there's so many different areas you can go and you could come in on one side of let's say you come in through the senior center, uh, whatever role that could be and you could end up over in public works in a different role like I feel like once you're in uh, in or start here or, or whatever you've got some opportunity to grow. Um, I know we always ask about police officer like you always put it out there. Uh, internally and externally, you know, you know, if you're looking for a new change, you know, you get this opportunity that you didn't even think about. So it's kind of unique uh, as far as that goes compared to other places. 
Yeah, oh, absolutely. And speaking of police officers, I mean, entry level, you don't have to have any police experience. We send you to the academy fully paid for. Uh, you get your salary as you're attending the academy. So it's a really great opportunity for someone who just wants a complete change in their career. We're looking for people who have either out of school or who are, you know, maybe went into a certain field and they're in their 30s or their 40s and looking for a change, you know, any age. Um, we encourage um, anyone who is interested to apply. So it's a really great opportunity. And we have other positions like that that are entry level. Um, you know, we just had our administrative clerk. We didn't, we didn't require education or experience. I mean, it really was a true um, entry level position that someone could come in and learn how um, all of our city departments work and provide that administrative support um, with the end intention that maybe they find a passion in assessing or they really enjoy finance. And then that department has a full-time open now that person can, you know, potentially be promoted into that vacancy. Yeah, I think that's uh, just a, one of those hidden benefits that you might not think about. Uh, but once you get in here mm -hmm. and you, you really start exploring what the city has to offer, it's uh, kind of a cool, uh, cool benefit. All right. Well, as we wrap up, Sarah, uh, for people who are interested on in finding those job openings here at the city of Fitchburg, maybe just getting the application figured out, uh, where do they start? Yeah, check out our website. So um, maybe we can provide a link um, in this video with the website. But yeah, it's it's really just a matter of clicking on the link, you'll see your job openings, and then you can just uh, click on the job that you're opening or you're interested in, and then just apply. So really simple. If you have any technical difficulties, or you don't have computer or don't have, you know, any um, issues, with that, contact HR, we're always here to help with that. Um, we had someone come in um, that didn't have a computer at home that we helped them walk through how to apply. So happy to to set that up here for you too. Yeah, you, uh, you and Amy both make it really easy and, uh, and we're certainly glad uh, to have you on uh, Team Fitchburg, which uh, we're working on bumper stickers. Don't tell the staff. You and I've got this internal plan that we're working on, right? Uh, but either way, we'd love, I, that's whatever we talk about on Talking Fitchburg. I say, come join Team Fitchburg. It's going to be a lot of fun here. So yeah. uh, Sarah, thank you uh, so much for your time uh, for uh, both what you're doing uh, and Amy as well. And uh, we'll look forward to having you back on the show real soon. Thank you, Jeremy. You bet. Uh, Sarah Olson uh, from our HR department uh, doing a great job out there. Said, hit up the website, fitchforwi.gov. Like we say uh, when we talk about the openings, uh, that's where all the fun starts to find all of those uh, great job openings and much more. We'll take a quick break. More to come. You're watching Talking Pittsburgh. See on page four that the projections need to be blood next Thursday. Seriously? Thursday. Can't do that. Uh-uh. This is really inconvenient. I have yoga that day. I have no time for this. So. I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. Talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency. Don't wait. Communicate. Severe weather can strike anytime, anywhere. But there's a simple way to stay safe. Hey, Jim Cantori here. I stay safe in dangerous weather by planning ahead. You can stay safe too with a few easy steps. Build an inexpensive kit with supplies for your family's needs. Write down important information like phone numbers and medications. Always talk with your family and remember any pets in your planning. Be ready, be safe. Start your plan today at ready.gov plan. If you love them enough to suck the snot out of their nose at 4 a.m., then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Welcome back into Talking Fitch. We're wrapping up the show for today. I want to thank our guest, Sarah Olson uh, from the HR department. Check out the website for the latest job openings and to get your application filled out for the city. And congratulations again to now Lieutenant Lisa Heitman from the Fitchburg Police Department. We'll look forward to talking with her in the police department later this month. As you wrap up, remember to stay connected with Fact TV. It's fast, fun, free, easy, and ice free. Not like outside right now. Be safe this weekend and have a good weekend.